Hello everyone and welcome to Throwaway Society and I thought I would do a different version of Throwaway Society. It's actually kind of like a parallel version of when I find items. I'd like to do kind of the psychology behind why people throw the item away. Is there something wrong with it? Is there something I'm missing here with this item that I found? Well today's um, observation is this Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. Now we found this in the trash. Now it basically looks brand new. It works great. Maybe I'm missing something. What's the psychology? Why are people throwing things away that run perfect? Maybe there's something wrong with it. Well let's get into it and let's find out if there's something wrong with it in detail. Check things over and then we'll make a final evaluation. Maybe it was a good find. Maybe it wasn't. Let's find out. Okay, so on the outset here, let's check over the cord. Make sure we have a good solid view there of the cord. Now the end of the cord looks good. Let's unravel the whole thing. I don't see any breaks. I don't see any breaks in the cord yet. It's a long... I'll give it that much. It's a very long cord on this. You know, a lot of vacuums you get, you can see the cord. A lot of vacuums you get, the cord's super short and you don't have long enough cord on it. I see no issues with the cord. I mean, we're going to plug it in. As you've seen uh, from my previous video, it does run. But let's look at some other features of it here. The hose is flexible. It's not made of that cheap, hard plastic kind of, you know, usually the shop vacs you get, it's real hard. And some cheap vacuums, like the uh, Bissell vacuum that I found, it does work. However, the quality of the hose is not quite like this. It's a nice flexible hose. You know, it'd be easy to manipulate the hose. You can remove this piece here and it's very flexible. Mind you, the hose isn't, I mean, it's not terribly long. That's kind of annoying. Maybe it should be a little bit long. I've had vacuum cleaners that, I mean, they basically attack me when I'm, I have a shark vacuum when I'm using this attachment it almost always tips over. It will always tip over like this and end up hitting me in the back or something like that. But I guess you have to take that into consideration. Let's see what it has here. It has a couple attachments. The attachments are all here and that's in really good shape. You know it's not too beaten up. We have another attachment here which would be good for the car between the console you know, if you have a Jeep like I have, or many vehicles have a console in the middle and it's hard to get in, you know, it's basically where all the french fries end up, you know, and the salt and the french fries and whatever else. So that's a good attachment. So we'll put that back in. Put it back together here. So let's take a look at the, uh, overall condition of it. We can open this up here. And that's in good shape. And the bag here comes out. We have uh, it's a Filtreat 3M vacuum bag. Micro allergen bag. Um, looks like it's in good shape there. I just cleaned the bag out. Pretty much just uh, dumped the bag and uh, you know, if it was summertime, I'd get it out there with the air compressor and blow it all out. But everything looks good there. I don't see any issues there. I still don't see any evidence here or any reasoning except for maybe somebody just wanted a new vacuum cleaner. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, brushes underneath here. 
So the brush looks in good shape. It does have some uh, string on it. Let's get it tuned in there. It does have some string. That's easy if you take a razor blade and just, even if there's a lot of the strings on there, run it across here a bunch of times. And it'll cut them all. It's much easier to remove it. But that's important to do. Just remove the you know anything that's in there we're gonna have to get in there really with a razor blade and cut that out but for the most part you can tear it all out the brushes look in good shape I don't see any real issues with the brushes there they actually look they're not worn down it's turning freely so I don't see any issues here with the brush system there. Now uh, these are kind of nice feature here. If you look at those, these are the swivel wheels. You don't get these on all the vacuum cleaners. They're just straight wheels. So it does make it easier to manipulate, you know, and turn the vacuum in different positions as you're vacuuming. That's kind of a nice feature. You know, you'd, I see some bearings in there. You'd want to oil in there. That'd be a good maintenance thing to do. Let's see. Well, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Since I dropped it. So I still don't see any evidence here. We can take a look at this adjustment here. This is the height. It's a seven floor settings. It has a high pile. Which is kind of neat. It kind of shows you the the settings there you have a high pile and then as you turn this dial uh, it lessens so if you have a thin carpet you might want to go I don't know maybe the third setting or something like that so so far so good uh, in our investigation here of our trash find um, I'm gonna call this uh, investigations is the investigations version of um, the throwaway society so we'll call it throwaway investigations and our investigation so far is uh, it's inconclusive I can't I can't find any evidence to why someone would throw this away so why don't we test it out and maybe we'll uh, vacuum up some rice or something like that and see if maybe there's an issue with the vacuum running. Maybe it quits after a minute. Maybe I don't know what to expect. So let's see what happens. Plug it in. We'll vacuum up some stuff and uh, and see if there's any issues there with uh, suction. Okay, throw away society investigations and we have the dirt devil here and we have some rice and I hate to waste rice but in this example we're going to see if it if it vacuums up properly. Let's see if it can handle some rice and as we still try to get down to the reason why somebody threw this item away. So let's get to it.
Okay, so I still don't see any evidence as to why this was thrown away. You can see the floor is just spotless. I don't think there's a piece of rice on it. So it's vacuumed up all the rice. And uh, I'd have to say that this was a su successful trash find. But also that we have no evidence to show that this vacuum cleaner <clears throat> was thrown out for any logical reason. It could be that it was, like I said, thrown away because somebody just got sick of it. Maybe they wanted a different kind. I know the newer ones don't have the bag so much anymore. They'll have a canister that you empty. Might be a little easier. Maybe they wanted a cyclone vacuum. But this is a working perfect vacuum cleaner. And uh, thank you for joining the channel. I appreciate it. I have some subscribers. And uh, you, I really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And uh, until next time, uh, we're going to be still searching for some treasures. And uh, the difference between this channel is we're going to do a video on uh, when we find something. We're actually going to go through the item and find out what's wrong with it. And we'll investigate if it can be repaired. And, uh, and try to get the psychology of this throwaway society. So thanks for watching. And see you next time.